a double in Tandra on Sunday. Caesars having Chelsea and playing a big side yeah. in Brighton and Hope Albion. Eighth yeah. against ten. Yeah. Chelsea is hosting Brighton on the back of a very dismal performance yeah. against Newcastle. We had talked about perhaps the injury yeah. issues that they have, yeah. but in that game they showed a lot of vulnerabilities, including their captain getting sent off, yeah. and of course their best defender perhaps, Thiago Silva, making a very glaring mistake there to put a ball on the plate for uh, for, for the Brazilian uh, <laughs> Joel Linton <laughs> to score. <laughs> Chelsea seems to be going one step forward and then two steps back. How does Mauricio Pochettino address these issues? Where is the consistency? I think what he has to do is to tell the fans that he's building a project. <laughs> <laughs> because a we, one billion project. Yeah, Tony, maybe it could take time. Because when we thought Chelsea had turned the corner and then put We think it all the time. One, yeah. So hosting Brighton, Brighton has not been scintillating ever since they beat United. I think they slumped. But uh, they, they are a team that can turn on the style, especially when they are facing the big boys. So coming to uh, Stamford Bridge, I think Brighton could look at this Chelsea team and say, without gems here and then uh, an edgy defence, they could have a shot. Very interesting. Of course, Chelsea coming into this particular <clears throat> game intense, like we said, it's not an ideal position to be in, yeah. but the performances haven't yet showed anything. Yeah. They keep going back backwards. When you look at their defence, perhaps... Thiago Silva is not the player that should even be starting yeah. if you're really to build a long-term project. Yeah. But it shows you that perhaps the young players around him have failed to step up to the plate. So yeah. far, yeah. Axel Disasi has not yet shown enough. Yeah. But they're uh, shill. But they're shill. Yeah. They haven't yet <clears throat> shown enough to be able to take him out of the side. And you have to feel sorry for the manager, all the injuries that they've been having at the back. But with Rhys James, having yeah. just recently come out, yeah. come back from injury, yeah. he got two very, very... Silly. Who was yellow cards? Yeah. Silly mistakes yeah. for him to get that red card. It will definitely hurt the team. Team. Yeah, it will hurt the team, especially if you're having a Mitoma operating on that side, that left flank. But they have a, a good deputy in Gutso. I thought uh, Gutso might be a better deputy. He can sometimes uh, play not to the level of James, but he is a better deputy there. Though Chelsea, Tony, when you look at up front, yes, they were getting the four goals, etc. Palma, the last two games, seems to have seems dropped to have the dropped standard. Off. Yeah, so, and, and when Palma has dropped... Uh, the, the, is he being the, played out of position? Because when he was playing so well, he yeah. looked like he was playing <clears throat> left, right wing. Now I see him playing a bit more centrally. Is it affecting his game a little bit? I think so too, because he is one who wants to drift in from the right wing, that the Salah life. He wants movement. to take on one player. Exactly. So that is affecting him. But Pochettino knows better his side. So we can just watch and assume. But I think the coach has to look into this team and try to generate the energy. They, this, they, they seem to have got that energy after Man City game, but they've looked off base. It was suddenly very interesting to see <clears throat> them coming off the back of a 4-4 draw against Man City yeah. and then turning up and getting walloped by Newcastle yeah. uh, four goals to one. So this coach will be looking at this Brighton side. They come into this game, yeah. Brighton. They have very potent weapons in their side yeah. that can hurt you anytime. Pascal yeah. Gross has been in the form all of his life almost. Evan Ferguson yeah. is one player that people <laughs> have, have to keep their eye on. I like him as a player. He's very scintillating. He scores he goals. scores from, every game. From starts. very, very small uh, expected yeah, goal yeah. Uh, uh, ratios. Course, yeah. So it's very interesting to see. He's developing into a very, very brilliant number nine there. And it, he has been afforded the time. And so far, he's a player who hasn't yet kicked on yeah. properly in Brighton. Yeah. But he's another one that can easily come on and cause you problems. <clears throat> so Chelsea will have to look at this game and be very wary. I've gone for a 1-1 one, one draw as well in this particular fixture. No, I think Chelsea will win. Uh, Dunk, Dunk was sent off in the previous game. And I think without that leader in, in the Brighton defence, they always struggle. So I, I think Chelsea might just do it at, at home, 2-1 Chelsea. Brilliant game, that one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be coming after this with the Liverpool one. Stay tuned.